What's up guys? It's two thirds of the sexiest men on YouTube and I'm not gonna say anything because this is his story time. Alright guys, I'm hitting you guys with a story time and it is a very personal story time and the story time is over the time I got arrested. Okay, so Luke does not I'm know never. about the time I got arrested so he is here to react and to listen. Yeah about this little story I have. I mean, I know that he got put in cuffs, but I don't know the story whatsoever, so. So I'm going to clear everything up with him and then let you guys know too, because we like that. We like that. He should have already known, but I just haven't told him. So without further ado, let's get into the story time, guys. Okay. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. So how this story time started. Before I even get into it, it was the stupidest idea of my life, and I just wanted money. But Very it all started on the basketball court. So I knew this guy just playing basketball, and we just played almost every Tuesday and Thursday. And I mean, I knew his name. We played on teams together, and that's it. But how it started is somehow we started talking, and we started talking about like how he makes this cash fast. And I was like, dude, I want some money right now. Like I'm working like 40 plus hours a week and I really want some, I really want some money. So I'm like, you know, I'm down. Let me hear what you got to say. So, so you're just down to just what? whatever, I'll make the money. Right, it was stupid. And uh, hopefully nothing comes, comes back to haunt me on this because I mean, I got let off, let off easy. Let's just say that. So, this guy, we meet up, and uh, he's like, basically, man, I can make you a lot of cash quick, and it's safe. And I was like, okay, it's safe, you know, he can make me a lot of cash safe. So, he's like, all I need is your username and your password to your bank account. Yes, I know that was the stupidest thing I could ever do, but guess what? I gave him it. Yeah, I know. I could. This story is dope already. Right. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I should have never done it. I wish I could go back and just not do it. But and I also gave him my credit card. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh. Wow. What were you? Let's thinking? just say when my parents see this, they they obviously know about it, but they're gonna be like. Yeah, you're you're, can, an, you're an idiot. Uh, I can't believe you did that. I don't I even know. I don't it. even know why you're making a video of it right now. But you know, I am. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I gave him my credit card, and yeah, it took him like a week literally to do it. I was like, man, I you know, come on, hurry up, blah blah. blah. And he's like, okay, meet me up on this day. So it was a Saturday and I was working at Discount Tire at the time. Uh, changing tires and all that, you know, getting my hands dirty. It's a guy's job. We're working many. Uh, but I worked all day that day and he was like, bro, I'm doing it right now. Like, I was like, bro, I work, I can't, I can't do it. And he was like, do you want to make big money or not? Like, you don't even got to work. I'm like, I'm like, okay, dude, like I'll do it. Yeah. So it was like nine in the morning and we go to a bank and we try to, you know, I went to go get the cash out because I, you know, I thought it was safe. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the cash out. What was the idea he had? Just, he told me to go in and get the cash out. So, and when you go in, how was the you cash know, there though? I don't know how he put it in my account. How did he make the money? I have no idea. What? I have no idea how he did it, but, uh. Yeah, just let me continue. Oh, yeah, my bad. But, yeah, uh, we're in the bank, and I go to get the cash out, and they're taking a while, like, oh, where did you get this from? I'm like, oh, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know uh, where said, I made this I money know. from. Yeah, I was like, I, I don't know. What? what I mean, you? yeah, I was like, from my from my job, basically. Oh, yeah. I thought you legit was just like, I don't know how I got there. But they didn't give it, give it to me, so I was like, okay. He was like, oh, we're just going to have to go to another bank. I'm like, Okay, we can, I guess. Uh, and then at that point, I was like, dude, I'm getting set up for something. And it was basically way too late to even back out because I was already there. Everything, 
already happened. There was money in my account. There was no way I could get out. So hmm. basically, I was stuck. So uh, so I was in the bank and I was in the like I tried to get it out and it wouldn't happen. And then we got went into her office and then she was just chilling there because he told me to go in. And he was sitting in his car. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I was in the office and she was like, she was like, well, how did you get this money from? I was like, I was like, I forget what he told me, but I, I said something. And uh, so we started like, I, I said, I don't know, I think. Doesn't even, it really doesn't even sound smart, Josh. No, it wasn't. Uh, I'm just glad it's over and nothing happened about it. And nothing escalated, right. escalated to the... So you're you're in the office part. and she asked. But you. I'm in the office and she asked me how I got the money. I said I, I mean I like I don't think I said I don't know because that just sounds dumb. But like I forget what I said. Let me think. One second. I really don't know, but yeah. So it it just kept going and she started asking questions and uh, eventually I see a car. A, police car like go past this window I'm like oh shoot this was not like this was on some next level stuff and I didn't even know about it mm -hmm. so they called the cops on my man they called the cops on me and I look outside and the guy is not out there so I was like wow he had something to do with it, it was this is the dumbest idea of my life everything was just going through my head a million miles per hour and so the cop comes in, goes goes in the uh, office, and then tells me to stand up and put my hands behind my back. And so I do what he told me. He put handcuffs uh, on my hands, and then what he sits down. And what um, did it feel like when you got them on? It hurt. Yeah, cause, I mean, I don't I've, like that. I've had it, it before. It it's a different. It's a different. It will never happen thing. again. Let's just say that I will never put have handcuffs. <laughs> handcuffs on me ever again unless it's just a joke yeah. but yeah he took me out started asking me a whole bunch of questions uh did you go in the car i felt like the guiltiest man of my life uh did you get put in the police car yeah so he takes me out and everybody's staring at me so i felt like a huge criminal Dang. which i would never do anything like right. that ever again they i'm not a criminal a yeah they arrested <laughs> me from a bank so i mean it obviously looked horrible almost made the news and um the cop was like yeah basically this guy used you oh wow he was like yeah basically he used you i was like yeah i mean he did yeah you're i mean you're not wrong right. and then so but he said that after so he got money after payment? the fact no just that everything canceled everything got canceled but everything he, did he take money from your credit card at all no i no Okay. Just everything I canceled from that thing, every all the money he put in, put into my account, and um, but yeah, he so he handcuffs handcuffs me, puts me in the car, and closes it. So I'm like, oh, oh snap! Dang. Like I'm going to jail. Like seriously, oh, like no. I don't know. Like I couldn't even. No emotions were going through my head. It was just like blank. You're just sitting there, like right. And then he opens the car, and he's like. All right, this is the uh, last time I'm gonna ask you. Uh, if I were you, I would, you know, tell me everything. Right. So I was like, you know what? I'm, you know, they said, oh, if you snitch, blah blah, you snitch. <laughs> I'm like, okay, but and I just told him everything, right. and then uh, he Yo, was like, everybody. thank you. <laughs> so I don't know if it was like he was pressuring me and telling me then like the handcuffs were just to scare me or whatever, but he let me out the handcuffs and he was like. I would go home and tell your parents, you know, what you just did, and uh, I wouldn't, <laughs> you better never do it again, because this is a huge situation that... Like a felony? No. A mis it could what be was a misdemeanor. Was it considered, like, theft, like robbing a bank? Check fraud. Okay. So, yeah, he, he set me up. But, uh, but yeah, that, that went to my parents and told them all about it. They were very upset. I was very upset what I did. They were disappointed. Everybody was disappointed. I'm disappointed. But, uh, I don't know. I learned a lot from the situation. Uh, don't trust people. So yeah, don't don't trust people you just met playing <laughs> basketball. <laughs> but, yeah, that was the story on how the time I got arrested. Uh, so, Luke, I was... What? First off, what do you think about that? 
What did you think about that? Being that What's I've known reaction? you for like eight years, never would I believe that you're just, you know, you didn't think about it. But I understand that money can make people think dumb about things sometimes. I've done dumb things because of money, but I'm just like, I'm more like in awe that like you allow Me it. out of every person. Yeah, like, because did that. like Josh, Josh doesn't do a whole lot of bad things. So I'm just like, what? I'm really like, I really don't have a whole lot of words. Just more, more like, I'm like confused as to why you didn't think about it a whole lot, especially giving somebody your credit card number because that's never smart. I was, I've known you for a long, I was hesitant to give you my credit card number to cash my freaking <laughs> pull out money or whatever. It's definitely the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. And guys, I promise I will never do that again. But, I oh mean, I would mostly just say I'm, I'm in awe. I never thought it would, uh, would happen to you or that you would allow it to happen. So, I'm not, I'm not super disappointed. Just mostly because it's, it's my homie. Can't be, can't be too disappointed at him. Hopefully it's done and over with and that situation never comes up again, uh, ever in my life. So, uh, guys, that is a story time video over the time I got arrested. Hope you guys like this video. Yeah, hopefully I guess you guys like this story. Uh, uh, I don't know, leave some types of comments down below what you guys right. think. If you guys, if you guys ever it. thought I would ever do that. If you guys want to hear... Luke tell his story time. And I actually went to jail. So, you know what? He probably will tell a story time. But still comment down below if you want to hear it or not. Please. Please. And comment if you want us to keep doing story times. Because we got a lot of stories. Yeah. As us. we said in our uh, last video. Ask us. Just ask us. I mean, I'm not afraid to tell anybody anything. I really am open book. We shall do what uh, you guys want. Because you guys are our loyal subscribers. And uh, much love. We love you guys. Oh, much love. I just want to say uh, at the be at the ending of each video, I want to start uh, saying thank you to God because I want Him to bless our YouTube channel. So without God, none of this would be able to be possible. So praise Him. Yes. In the next video, we are just we are gonna say a prayer at the end of every video. Uh, I don't know. Just like we went to youth group uh, the other. Day, Sunday yeah and I don't know it just touched us a little bit so we're not doing it just cuz we're doing it because we want to what do you think about um, a prayer video like having you guys put um, some of the things you guys need prayed in and then we'll do a video prayer praying. request so guys we will do a whole video over what you guys need prayed for prayed for so prayer requests and praise reports so if something like was really good in your life that day yeah let it let us know and we will be like yeah. okay and we'll we'll just pray about that much love because the whole entire video i want i want and god we'll say you guys each names too and, i want god yeah. to bless us and feel like he's calling us to be able to reach you guys so might as well put it out there so stay blessed bless up make sure you guys like comment and subscribe hit us up on our social media we love you guys wait wait how you doing it i'm so short i gotta like turn my head yeah. <laughs> That is the end of this video. We love you guys and peace out.